Welcome back everyone, Ronan here, and I just want to touch up on character creation and what we are able to do in the alpha right now. Mainly give a few ideas of classes you can start as, and what I like to do, maybe you guys can share good class startups that uh, maybe I have overlooked or that you think is really good. I'm going to give about like maybe four examples. The race can be a big part for your starting class, whatever reason you started as, might actually make the class. I start with a ranger. I prefer to go with the elf as a ranger because the reduction of the constitution is not a big deal in this scale. So the higher level you get, the less constitution you'll have. So when you're like level six or seven, it's like 50% or whatever, or at least the flat rate maybe. It's not a percentage of your HP. You, it may seem like 50%, but if you don't put any constitution, it won't combat it, so you, you can't take a hit. But for that, the ranger or a mage can benefit from this. Let's say if you made a pyromancer, this may help. You, like, just push out your damage. A 25% that increase is pretty nice. So, if I were to make a ranger, you can either start with a ranger. I don't particularly like these two skills. But you can do a Wayfarer, which I think has a better starting setup. Because you don't need to take these into consideration. But Marksman's Fang and Ricochet are kind of... I mean, Marksman's Fang is not too bad, but you gotta be careful in town using it for whatever reason. You can hit another target that's way out of your range. Which is very annoying. This, unless they're really grouped up, doesn't work that well, I find. If you start with Wayfarer, at least you have some CC. And again, be careful in town with this. So it all depends on what else you're going to use in your party. I'm going to customize it and make sure you put your tags in for whatever you want to do. Like I say, you want a Jester and Rogue. And you have to think what your role is going to be as a Ranger. Now for this, if I plan on using a Rogue, then I probably won't go with Wit. If I don't use a rogue, I'm probably gonna use a lot of wit. It all depends. Like, I'm gonna put some wit though, not none. I'm not gonna cover any of the skins because that's all up to you. Customize, you cannot change the skills yet. I'm assuming as the game progresses, see it says disabled for early access. You'll be able to make your own class, which will be much better when it releases. I know I selected Wayfarer, but I don't care for the intelligence. I'm building an actual ranger later on you could put at least one wit it will give you that one initiative i highly recommend at the beginning to actually put a point or two in wits because it actually makes a big difference in your initiative and here for finesse you're actually already maxed out with your stats because you are an elf and sure 30 percent extra damage with your skills is great but you only picked one anyway for this class so it's not really gonna matter. So two points in wits will actually give you, here it says five initiative. I don't think so, it's not gonna be five. You go, it doesn't say here stat wise. But we'll have to see when we get into the game, cause that would mean we'd be at eight initiative. That doesn't make sense right now off the top of my head. Oh yes, ranged. Now, since you have these skills, you don't need to keep up with them. You can remove this, you'll still be able to use them. That's the beauty of the system now. It may be subject to change. I know I'm going to need at least one point in Scoundrel for Adrenaline and Huntsman. Huntsman is amazing. You're going to want to spend most of your points between Ranged and Huntsman, in my opinion, for a Ranger. If you wanted uh, Teleport, you can use the gloves for a very long time because you don't need the stats. Because armor-wise, won't matter if you're far enough and don't get hit. Bartering, I don't really care. Depends if you're building another character to do your thievery. Then maybe go like this. Maybe your lore master. That'd be handy too. I wouldn't recommend leadership because you're gonna be so far behind. And you're an elf. I'd recommend maybe a human to do that. In this case, I'm gonna make a lore master. Then talents. Here is pet pal. Pet pal is nice. You can use that to start the game. There's a lot of stuff you can do with pet pal early game. Another one that would be good though. If you're making an actual ranger, you can get pet pal at level two or three. You could get Hothead. That one is pretty big. 
It will reduce the amount of finesse you need at the same time for your accuracy. With 10% crit if you're full health. The beauty of this is with your ability, your innate ability as a, an elf. If you take a hit before using Flesh Sacrifice, Flesh Sacrifice will heal you by reducing your max HP. And then you'll still be max health. So you'll still get the bonus of that uh, those skills. So it's a really good combination for if you're building a ranger. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next video. Have a great night, everyone.